Okay, in this short video, we're going to take a look at units of measurement as well as the concept of snapping to the grid. You'll notice on the grid itself there along the X and Y axes, there are numbers that indicate a particular unit of measurement. And if you look down at the bottom right corner, you can see what that measurement currently is. So right now we are looking at millimeters. Interestingly enough, when you export a file and put it into what's called STL format, the 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 3D printing software that the, the looks at your object sees units as just units. In other words, a box that's 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters and a box that's 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches are actually seen as the same object in an STL file, meaning they're just 10 units of something. But you may want to get used to one format or another when doing your own measurements depending on what your the purpose of your object. So right now we're looking at units in millimeters and as you can see at the bottom here you can choose to look in centimeters or in inches and so I'm going to switch to inches for a second standard user unit of measurement and you'll notice that the units on the grid themselves have also changed. So I notice with my students when working on a part that they need for uh, a larger project that they're doing will often know the the measurements in, in inches right away and so they'll convert to these but it just depends it depends on the project that you're doing so the unit of measurement indicates what's on the grid and it'll also indicate when you're clicking on an object and you're looking to move it you'll see that the units inside the the object itself are always also uh, based on that same unit of measurement. Well the second thing that we're going to talk about is snapping to grid and what snapping to grid does is it allows you to move an object precisely based on the units of measurement. So in this case for example if we're in inches we can say I want to snap to the grid based on one inch measurements. What that means is when we're in our move mode like this and we click to drag the object in one direction or another. Right now, because it's snapping to one inch units, it's moving one inch at a time, and you can see how it snaps to that one unit, one inch measurement. Okay. So if you need more precise movements, obviously moving one inch at a time isn't tremendously precise. So you can choose to measure, uh, let's say, one tenth of an inch at a time. And now when you move, take a look at the units here, and they're now measuring in tenths of an inch. So you can get very precise. Note that when you just grab an object and move it around like this without, without using the move tool here, this allows you to freely move anyway. So you, you're not moving by any, you're not snapping to grid in this, in this mode, but clicking on the object and going into move mode does allow you to snap to grid. So that's that's um, helpful when you're trying to move something at a precise distance.